I am about to talk about hate comments. I got some caterpillars! Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I make videos about New York City and my life living here. And this is gonna be another little weekend in my life vlog. Whew. So right now I'm feeling a little bit chaotic and stressed. It is just after three o'clock and I've been working all day at like hyper speed and it's like 66 degrees outside right now and i have this tendency to literally schedule my whole life around when it is warm outside making sure that i am able to go enjoy the warm outside but today i just haven't been able to but i have sort of completed everything that i need to complete and I have a little house guest with me this week who needs to go outside. So I will show you him in just a second. But here's the deal. Here's the plan for this evening. I am going to take my house guest, Casey, out for a walk for like maybe an hour. I think, I think we'll have about an hour, maybe a little over. And then we're gonna come home and I'm going to very quickly make some dinner and change clothes. And then I'm going to the Met tonight to see Madame Butterfly. If you're not familiar with it, Madame Butterfly is a Puccini opera. I am a classical musician who lives in New York City and has never been to the Met. So I'm very excited to uh, go see this and see the inside of the Met for the first time. So that'll be fun. But because operas are very long, it's about three hours, there was so much that I had to get done before this because I can't like do any work tonight. Whew, man, I feel like I just made you guys as tired as I am. But anyway, let's go retrieve the house guest and head out for a little walk. I think we're gonna go over to Fort Greene Park. Casey, you wanna go for a walk, buddy? You wanna go for a walk outside? Yeah, you do? You do? Oh my gosh, oh, you're trampling your stuff. So this is Casey. Oh, hey, buddy. He has been staying with me for over a week now, and unfortunately he goes home tomorrow, but he's so cute. He's so cute as he is. cooking some frozen Trader Joe's dumplings and zucchini and to be honest with you I'm not at all hungry it's like 5 15 I have to leave at 5 45 ish and I'm not gonna be home until after 10 so like the reason I'm eating now is because I know if I just don't eat I'm going to be starving mid-opera <laughs> but ugh, I don't want to eat one pathetic soap story later <laughs> okay so I'm about to head up to the map but first let me show you my uh, very cute outfit Ooh. Ah. So I'm wearing this very pretty cherry blossom dress. Thank you, Natalia. My favorite thigh-high boots. And for later, I'm taking this faux fur coat just in case. For right now, we're good, but it's supposed to get down to about 55 later. My Roosevelt Island guide video just went up, so we were watching that, and I love that video. I'm so excited. It's been a while since I made one of those guides, and 
I was just hit with the inspiration. I think Roosevelt Island is so cool. So if you haven't seen that video yet, um, I'm plugging it now, go watch it. <laughs> okay, hi. It is almost 2 p.m. now, and I haven't vlogged anymore since the last time you saw me, even though I fully intended to. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to share why I did not vlog anymore. And I've been going back and forth on it, but um, I'm going to. Something that has always bothered me is when YouTubers spend more time focusing on hate comments than the kind comments. And I never understood why anybody wanted to place so much emphasis on it. That being said, I'm about to talk about hate comments. <laughs> Even though that is something that I swore that I would never ever do, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna make it up to you guys and myself by when I'm done addressing this, and I'm gonna try to keep it very brief. I'm gonna read some, some nice comments and uh, say hello to those of you who are leaving nice comments. So last time we spoke, my Roosevelt Island video had just come out. Ross left for work, I took a shower, I made some lunch, and I was sitting down with my lunch and I even had my camera up ready to go because I was gonna show you my lunch of French onion soup and a grilled cheese sandwich and uh, chat with you a little bit about what I plan to get into for the rest of the day. And then I pulled up my phone and I had notifications from Facebook. So I go and look and I had posted my Roosevelt Island video in a Roosevelt Island Facebook group. I open up the notification and I just have a whole swarm of comments, not a single one of them nice. One person said the world would be better without people like me. Somebody said that Roosevelt Island was a hidden gem until people like me started making videos like this one. Uh, somebody said that I'm a cancer to society. I mean, they were like pretty brutal comments. Some days a comment would not bother me at all. And then another day that same comment might really, really get me down. And apparently this morning was one of those days. I saw all those mean comments and I like couldn't eat my lunch and I cried for like 30 minutes. And I think the reason is that that kind of thing is something that I'm already insecure about. So like, for example, the other day, <laughs> Some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, might have seen me trolling a little bit about somebody left a comment telling me that I shouldn't wear red lipstick. <laughs> and that one really didn't hurt my feelings. It didn't bother me at all. I honestly thought it was kind of hilarious that this person who has left a bunch of weird comments on my videos in the past, I think one time they even said that my glasses were uh, silly or something. So still wearing those too. But they commented and told me not to wear red lipstick. And I, I, I put on my Instagram story this like collage of me wearing red lipstick. Uh, that was just me being petty. I really was not bothered. <laughs> but the reason I was not bothered was because I think I look good in red lipstick. I feel confident that red lipstick looks good on me. One thing that I am insecure about already before seeing these comments on that Roosevelt Island video is that I'm not a native New Yorker. And I often feel concerned that maybe I don't have a right to be making these videos talking about a city that I didn't grow up in, or that I'm gonna make a video and say something or do something that is in some way offensive or that I'm gonna broach a topic that maybe isn't for me to talk about. And I do my best to not do that. I, I try to be very, very sensitive about it. Um, but you know, I'm a person, like I'm a human being, I can make a mistake, right? So when I see comments like that, I get nervous and insecure and I'm like, oh, is this something I shouldn't have done? Is this actually harmful? You know, the reason that I make YouTube videos about the things I make videos about, about the city and things to do here, is because I like watching content like mine as somebody who lives here. I like being able to find things to do and learn history about the place that I live. And I wanna do that too. I like making videos and I wanna share things that I think are really cool with other people. When you receive a comment that is about something that you already feel a little insecure about, um, it can be really hurtful. I'm really just sharing this because I'm vlogging my day today and this is something that happened and impacted my day and 
I wanted to talk about it a little bit. So I said I would keep this brief and I wasn't gonna spend too much time on this. So um, I'm gonna pull up some nice comments. Okay, so I have my computer in front of me. I'll start with some comments on the Roosevelt Island video. Deanne said, Hi Hannah, I enjoyed this video, especially the historical information and the old film clip of the island. It's always a bit confusing about the cherry blossom trees since there are a few varieties and they bloom at different times. I've seen some of the white blossoms bloom, but other trees still haven't bloomed at all. Did you attend any of the Earth Day celebrations? Thank you. That's so kind. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Um, I didn't attend any Earth Day celebrations, but as you saw yesterday, I did go to the park and I went to the Met. So... You know, that's a celebration, right? <laughs> Ramses says, another great guide. Roosevelt Island looks delightful. I gotta come visit that place. If you go there again in the morning hours, you'll have a chance to see the amazing sunrise from the east. I need to do that. I'm not much of a morning person. Like, you won't frequently catch me wanting to see, or not wanting to see, you won't frequently catch me going to see the sunrise. I would love to see it, but gosh, being up so early, but maybe, Maybe I'll do that. Okay, on my pros and cons of living in New York City video. Izzy says, this was so perfect. I feel like I really needed this one to be humbled, but also inspired. Can't wait for the future and if NYC is what it holds. That's so sweet. Like, I'm so glad you feel inspired uh, by a video I made. That, that feels awesome, thank you. Okay, so that's all I'll read for now, but um, Thank you guys, I really do appreciate everybody who takes the time to comment uh, something positive like that. It really does make my day and reading through those and some more that I didn't read out loud um, really made me feel better after reading those nasty comments earlier. So, thank you. Casey's people are about to come pick him up. They're gonna be here in, hi baby, hi. <laughs> They're gonna be here in like, 15 minutes or so. I've decided after Casey leaves, I'm gonna go for a little walk. I just wanna get some exercise and fresh air, but I don't really feel like going to the gym, you know? So I feel like a nice brisk walk will be good. And I also think I might stop by Target. It's one of those times where like, there are some things I can get, but I don't really need to go to Target, but I just kinda wanna go to Target. And I can use needing like, deodorant in a couple of days as an excuse to go right now. I'm gonna miss this little baby so much. Just look at him. Look how cute he is. Oh, my voice is so annoying. Look at him. Oh. Casey has sadly left the building, but yeah, I'm just gonna go enjoy the sunshine and the air and uh, Target <laughs> and try to just like reinvent my day. Uh, my mom got me this Fitbit for my birthday. This is the Fitbit Lux. It says I've walked 3,881 steps today. So let's check that again when I get back home and see, see how much we pumped that up because that is not enough. <laughs> So I'm over in Clinton Hill right now, and Clinton Hill was never really on my radar before I moved. I technically live in downtown Brooklyn, but I live almost in Fort Greene, so Clinton Hill's like an easy walk. And it's just so beautiful. Like, it's quiet, but still like lively enough, and the architecture is stunning, and like the trees are starting to come alive, and it just feels good over here. Okay, I just got home, had a great walk. So let's check my step count. So before we left, it was we, because <laughs> I took you guys, right? Where are we? Uh, before I left, it was um, whatever number I said. 3,881 steps. Now we are at 
13,878 steps. All right, that is better. I feel like I got my body moving, got some good fresh air, and now I'm ready to take on the world finally at 6 p.m. I made chili for dinner, which I feel like I do when I'm vlogging a lot, but I mean, I just, I make chili a lot. So, yep, there it is. <laughs> glasses but I don't really like recording in them all that much because of the glare but I tried to put my contacts in and they're just really bugging my eyes this morning okay hi happy Sunday it is actually not morning it is afternoon now I actually spent most of the morning editing this vlog up until this point and I love when I can do that because it just makes the whole process so much easier if I can edit as I'm filming because then I see like how long it is so far what some things are that I could cut and I don't just like suddenly have an hour of footage that I need to sift through so today's gonna be a pretty chill day uh, like yesterday I just need to do some like life admin <laughs> so a youtuber I watch uh, she's British I don't know if this is a British thing but she refers to like cleaning your house, making doctor's appointments, like that kind of thing, as life admin. And I just think that sounds so much nicer than chores. Anyway, I've got a lot of that to do today. And Ross is at work right now, but they're in the previews of a new show. And for this particular show, they're only doing matinees on Sundays during the previews. So he's gonna be home in a few hours. And we were talking about maybe going to see a movie. I'm not sure yet though. I don't know, going to the movies can be fun, but like, also, movies come out on streaming services so fast now. Like, we want to go see the new Fantastic Beast movie, Secrets of Dumbledore, but like, I'm sure it's going to be on HBO Max in a month or two. Anyway, we might do that, uh, but for now, I'm just going to be doing some <laughs> life admin, and I want to show you guys something really cool. Okay, so this is going to require just a little bit of background information, so... My mom and I share an Amazon account. And I also have a little cousin who's 10 years old and our birthdays are about a week apart. Okay, so last year I see on Amazon that my mom has ordered this butterfly pavilion where you like grow caterpillars into butterflies and then release them into the wild. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. I can't believe my mom bought that for me for my birthday. Obviously. It was for my little cousin, you know, a child who this kind of thing is intended for, not me. Anyway, I was very disappointed about it. And so this year for my birthday, I got some caterpillars. As you can see, they are in their cocoons. And so today I'm gonna have to move them from these little cups into the butterfly pavilion. And then I guess in a few more days, they're gonna turn into butterflies, which is pretty dang cool. This is the butterfly pavilion. You open it up and you put them in here so that when they turn into butterflies, they've got room to fly around. So I need to do that, but also, as you can see in this cup, one of these guys is still a caterpillar and this one was way smaller than all of the other ones the whole time like i'm so excited that it is to the size that it is now because i was afraid it was you know gonna die or something uh but i think it's gonna be okay but i think what i'm gonna do because i'm afraid they're gonna come out of the cocoons and still be in these jars if i keep waiting and that's obviously not good so i think i'm gonna go ahead you take the lids off where the cocoons are and you prop them up in this little thing perch here so i'm gonna take the lids off both and put them in the butterfly pavilion and then just put like a piece of foil with some holes in it on top of the jar for the other caterpillar here i think i think that i mean i think that's the best thing i can do right okay so the instructions say that i'm supposed to take the lid off and then use a cotton swab to remove all of the webbing that the caterpillars made on their way into their cocoons. So I'm nervous, I don't wanna hurt them. <laughs> Why are they moving like that? <gasps> I'm 
Why are they moving? <gasps> okay. Wait. I guess this is okay, right? Okay. I'm gonna put them in the pavilion. The directions do not say anything about that. I hope it's okay. I hope they're okay. Rory, uh-uh. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop it. Stop. I didn't think about her trying to attack them. Okay, so the caterpillars have been rescued from Rory. They will be kept out of her reach. And they are safely in the enclosure waiting to become butterflies. I put some foil around the top of the little guy's cup and I'm just gonna keep keeping an eye on him and I hope he's okay. So there's that, an incredibly random but fun thing to do. I'll put a link in the description to the butterfly pavilion kit if you guys are interested in doing this too or you know, your kids are. <laughs> Also, I realize that's a bit of a cliffhanger. I'm sorry. Next time I vlog, I will make sure to give you guys an update on the status of the butterflies. <laughs> she looks like a grumpy old man. So it is almost nine o'clock now and I would say that I kind of fell off vlogging but I didn't really I didn't forget to vlog there was just nothing to vlog we've really just been at home all day and it's been incredible but now we are gonna go to the movies we go to the Alamo draft house in downtown Brooklyn because it is very close to us and also very nice I am dressed in you know a sweatshirt leggings no makeup really because I just don't believe in getting dressed up to go sit in a dark movie theater at 9 30 at night so uh, we're gonna go do that now and it'll be a good time